Hi there, good evening again, and tonight I'm demonstrating Manuel Angelini's ingenious little adjustable power supply. And we'll so what I'm going to demonstrate is how that affects the sound of the Deke amp here as we knock it back from full at 9.5 right back to 7 volts. And I'm going to play a passage. I've been learn, learning this for days on Kazutaka, not very well. Uh, these guys, Don't Stop Me Now, and it will be Brian's ingenious solo. Beautifully played, unbelievable tone. Ah, uh, yeah. That one, we don't want to play too much or YouTube will close us down. So, off we go. So already there's more hiss than the video I did last night um, with the Why Don't We Try Again, Brian May Solo. Uh, tones knocked off just a little bit, which I found with the, these are the KGW pickups in the KZ Junior, RS Junior hybrid guitar that Dezo has kindly lent me. So, um, so I found that these pickups just with this amp at least, and, and my others, they tend to like having the tone rolled off just a fraction. So, so it's in F. It's a lot more sharp and biting than the notes sort of yeah, leaping out like a tiger at you. Uh, a lot of attack, not, the, not as much of the lush, beautiful uh, uh, sound, the spreading out sound that we're used to with the Deke amp. So let's knock it back. Okay, nine volts now. So again, a little bit of difference I can hear, not much. Probably easier for me to pick up the, the subtle differences in tone here than on the GoPro. And by, by the way, it's a GoPro Hero 7 Black camera I'm recording with. <laughs> difference not quite as sharp and aggressive as 9.5 we're back to 8.5 volts so here we go yeah a bit more lush not as aggressive Sonic pickups and red special it tends to work as you go up, especially transfer across to the B and the G. They're, they're fuller and they hang on the notes. You hit them, and they sort of bloom out, out sideways. Um, interesting characteristic, different on the guitars. Okay, let's go to the next voltage setting. Eight volts. So yeah, more subdued, more compressed. The, the higher voltages didn't have the compression, they roared out there like the tiger, so shh, with a uh, tap. more of the 
typical lush, beautiful Brian May Dickey sound that we're used to. One thing I have noticed testing earlier tonight with this, the cello sounds on the uh, bottom strings, the bottom E, A, tend to round off and sound much more beautiful, the sort of thing we're used to hearing on Queen records. <laughs> Is, uh, falls into place. It's not there at the, the sharper, more aggressive, uh, higher voltages. So let's go further. Okay, 7.5, which is the, the point that Manuel recommends and, and I found worked best last night. So here we go. Yeah, so a little bit more squashed and compressed. Again, it's like the the, uh, the electronics are having a hard time a as I push the signal in. They're, they're straining getting it out and you're getting this flattening off compression in the sound. Ah, we won't play it first. <laughs> Take three. pogo stick they reckon uh, yeah, not alternating current as that uh, DC apparently is like a pogo stick you've got a, your flat zero line as pogo stick but um, as we reduce the voltage it's just the amp strains and strains and strains the ele uh, electrolytics are, are discharged too much and they can't sort of get the, the signal up <laughs> so um, I found this just a few minutes ago mighty interesting so that's at seven volts still sounds beautiful lush and rich but uh, the amp is straining it just can't quite deliver the notes even before uh, the, at the beginning of the passage and so I think 7.5 is definitely right as the manual says now back in Brian May's studio in uh, in the olden days uh, in 1998 um, I was fortunate to be there from you know November 97 right through to August 98 and uh, you witnessed Brian recording with the Diki amp on a number of occasions um, and rehearsing with the Diki amp too for that um, you know, European tour and Brian um, never liked the sound of a new battery you know, new batteries are around that 9 to 9.3 volts DC and he instinctively just didn't like the sound it was too sharp there was something about it and so he yeah, we'd try a couple of different batteries. Ah, that's the one. That sounds really beautiful. And so we found, uh, naturally enough, that uh, the batteries that he favoured the sound of, that gave the most lush sound, were ones that were just almost on the point of, of dying. So they were around that seven and a half volts. 
you know, uh, seven, seven and a half to 7.75, it was around that figure. Uh, but he, he'd never measured it prior to that, but instinctively knew that the, the sweetest sounds came out of batteries that had a fair bit of their life already expended. So, um, yeah, wonderful little gadget that of manual. So, thank you and good night. Yeah.